Good morning, Phoenix High School, and welcome back to another episode of PHTV. I'm Joshua Devon. And I'm Guillermina Rodriguez. We've got a lot of announcements to share with you today, so listen up. This announcement is for all seniors. They are updating our records for graduation. Please see Myra Silva, office manager, to let her know who will walk you at graduation. Also, Jostens will be here on April 20th to deliver your cap and gown during lunchtime. If you have not already made graduation orders, time is running out. Go to Jostens.com to place your order now. Also, on Monday, April 24th, during advisory, all seniors will be taking their class photo. This is a group photo for all seniors and in class of 2017 together. Please dress appropriately and be here on Monday, April 24th, seniors. Speaking of seniors, if you have yet to turn in a senior picture for the yearbook, this is the last week to turn one in. You can still turn in your senior picture, just be aware of the $35 late fee. If you still need to turn in a senior picture for the yearbook, please come talk to Mr. Rhodes. Speaking of senior pictures, we are in need of senior baby pictures for the senior video. The deadline for submitting baby pictures was Friday, April 7th, but we are still missing several. If you need to turn in your baby picture, please see Mr. Rhodes. These will be used in the senior video at the senior assembly. Prom tickets are now available at the front office. They will be sold for $20 at the front office and $25 at the door uh, on the night of prom. Prom will be held on Saturday, April 22nd from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. and will be held at the Ashland Hills Hotel and Suites. Buy your tickets now at the front office. Mr. Cornett would like to let you all know that AP exams are one month away and to prepare. Thank you Mr. Cornett for that reminder. Another event to prepare for is the FFA barbecue and auction. This Friday the FFA auction will be at 6 p.m. in the PHS Commons. We will be serving a $10 New York steak dinner. There will be silent and oral auction as well as raffle prizes. All friends and family are welcome to attend. FFA auction setup is Thursday April 13th after school. The more help the easier the workload and you get a sneak pre preview um, to the items. PHTV's own Corey Romig and Dario de los Santos have made a segment for us. Let's check it out. Here comes the FFA annual live and silent auction. This will help raise money for travel and activity expenses, food for meetings, scholarships, and much more. Friday, April 14th at 6 p.m. in the PHS Commons. There will be a $10 New York steak dinner. Be there to support the FFA program. What a great event. We hope you all show up to support our FFA program. Another great opportunity to support Phoenix High School is donating to Kasim Akil's senior project. Kasim is in the beginning stages of his senior project, which he will implement this summer in the countries of Lebanon and Egypt. The theme is soccer for Syrians. He is collecting boys and girls soccer materials, clothes, any sort of shoes, cleats, and clothing or sports items. He will take your donations to the Syrian refugees living in extreme poverty in Lebanon. He will be taking soccer balls and clothes to the boys' orphanage in Egypt where he lived last year and played soccer with the boys. There is a box facing the attendance window where you can bring your donated items during March, April, and May. Your small acts of kindness will bring a smile to faces of those who suffer greatly. Please help Kasim with his senior project and donate to Soccer for Syrians. All my future My Choice members, please be ready for the fourth lesson this week. Also, all students should be ready for Carnival Thursdays. The Relay for Life team will be having games, selling candy, and other yummy snacks as a fundraiser for our school team. You can still join the PHS Relay for Life team. We are meeting Tuesdays and l at lunch in Mrs. Groom's room, so come join the fun. 
uh, for those of you interested in running for an ASB position for the year's 2017-2018 uh, school year, applications for president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary are now available at the front office. Please complete the application and return it to the front office by Monday, April 24th. Are you in need of medical assistance but are afraid it will cost too much? On Thursdays, La Clinica Medical Bus will be on campus to help any students who need it. See Mr. Kill in the attendance office to schedule an appointment with La Clinica for this Thursday or any Thursday you need medical attention. A big congratulations to our varsity Brain Bowl team. The Phoenix Brain Bowl team made up of Evan Schweiker, Brigham Blundell, Lucas Stella, Noah Thompson, and David Teague won the Division II championship. They defeated Eagle Point 59-16. Great job on an amazing season, Phoenix Brain Bowl. Ms. Pond in the Diploma Center is set up for students who are interested in earning a food handler's permit. The cost is $10 and you will pay the front office and bring your receipt to Mrs. Pond and N105. Use the computer to do the online training for the Oregon Food Handler's card. This card can help you gain employment in the food service industry. Talk to Ms. Pond and N105 for more questions. We have a lot of amazing staff and employees at PHS, but sometimes it's hard to get to know all of them, especially when we have new staff. PHTV, or PHS has a new student manager, and we would like to introduce them to you. PHTV's own Yasmin Conchas made a segment to introduce the school. Let's roll it. Hi, my name is Ms. Via Gomez, and many of the students call me Ms. V. And I'm taking what Mr. J used to do, his position. I'm going to be filling in and doing that position um, that is called Bilingual Student Support. Um, for the last few couple years, I was working at another school district doing similar job duties, and I really liked, enjoyed like, that aspect of my job. I enjoyed that here I'm able to use my bilingual skills to be doing the same type of work. Um, I just find it really rewarding working with kids, motivating them, encouraging them. Welcome Miss B. We hope you enjoy your time with us at PHS. Moving on to some more student news and speech and debate news, Phoenix High School speech and debate has had a year full of competition. Recently, Phoenix competed in districts and the following students have qualified to attend the state speech and debate championships at Western Oregon University. Carly Faramond, Aishwarya Valanki, Priscilla Espana, Yasmin Conchas, Nicoletta Danelli, Evan Schweikert, Noah Thompson, Jonah Leiden, Ezra DeLuca, Caden Kaywood, and David Teague. This is the best speech and debate performance in Phoenix's modern day history. Uh, to add further news, Noah Thompson and Evan Schweikart both qualified for the na Nationals in speech and debate and have an opportunity to travel to Birmingham, Alabama this summer. This also is the first time in Phoenix's modern day history that a student or any student has went to the Nationals for speech and debate. Uh, speaking of some amazing student accomplishments, the following students have uh, for having work on display in the regional art show, Best of the Best, at the Grants Pass Museum of Art. This juried show represents the best work from high school students across three counties. If you see any of these students around school, be sure to congratulate them. Delaney Horvath, Samantha Cameron, Faith Moody, Alexa Macias Montoya, Cole Parrish, Erica Hinks, Samantha Sacco, Lindsay Burns, Tiana Hurd and Thais Perez Chica. Congratulations to all the art students who qualified for Best of the Best Regional Art Show. A special congratulations to Erica Hinks and Sam Camrath for their blue ribbon performance at the Best of the Best. Now an announcement from our Future Planning Center. There is still time to sign up for the University of Oregon Trio Tour scheduled for May 11th. The trip will include a tour of the campus, student panel, and learning about their majors. Stop by the Future Planning Center to get more information. Also, don't forget, it's almost the end of the quarter. Do you need help with a class? We have an SOU tutor to help with any subject. Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.30 to 4.30 in Mrs. Pond's room. The ASAP bus will be available. Please, uh, see Mrs. Pond if you have any questions. Turning our attention to spring sports now. In softball news, our Lady Pirates secured their first two wins of the season. Softball took down Rogue River in a sp and split a doubleheader with Cascade Christian. Great job, Pirates softball. This week, our softball team will have a home game at Culver Field on Thursday. Be sure and go support our Pirates softball team. 
in baseball news. Uh, our Pirates baseball team also won two games last week, defeating South Umpqua and earning a split with Cascade Christian. Great job, Pirates baseball. Our Pirates baseball team will have a home game on Thursday at Culver Field. Be sure to go support our Pirates baseball team. In track and field action this past week, our Pirate tracksters competed at both North Valley High School last Wednesday and Roseburg this past Saturday. Congratulations to all athletes who earned a personal record this past week. Also, congratulations to Robbie Voss for breaking the nine minute mark in the 3000 meter. Way to go Pirate track and field. In girls golf news, last Tuesday the girls golf team traveled to Eagle Point Golf Course and played against Crater, Eagle Point, Ridgeview, and Ashland. Mar Maricela Alvarado Powers shot 109 for 7th and Bella Lopez uh, 125. In the nine hole competition, Willow Taos' team got first place and Sadie Prey's team got second. They traveled to Reed Sport for a match on Tuesday. Good luck girls golf. Okay, before we do trivia today, we want to remind everyone of our school sparrow, Fabi. Please pick up uh, community service forms in the front office and donate to help Fabi. This is a great cause and a great chance for PHS to show our support for our sparrow. Last week's trivia question was, when do seniors need to turn in their baby pictures into Mr. Rhodes by? And the winner is... Brigham Blundell. Congrats, you said Friday, April 7th. See Mr. Rhodes to pick up your Dutch Bros gift card. This week's trivia question is, when do students need to turn in their application for ASB positions to Ms. Brian by? Please write your answer on a piece of paper along with your name and advisor's name and place it in the envelope in, on Mr. Rhodes' door. Be sure to check out our online platform, phtvnews.com, and as always, stick around for the pledge. This has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news. Get ready to go.